New tonight, thousands of stop and shop workers in New England have voted to authorize a strike if their union can't come to terms with the grocery chain. Workers are pushing for better wages and benefits, while the store says it's adapting to a changing marketplace. The story now from WBZ's Paul Burton. We're going on strike if you don't bend. Upset stop and shop workers voted early Sunday morning to authorize a strike if a better deal is not reached and contract negotiations. Karen Anderson is a deli worker at Stop and Shop in North Andover. She's been there for 17 years. Because they're trying to take everything away from us, and we work too hard for that. Stop and Shop employs more than 30,000 workers throughout the Northeast. The vote allows the union to call a strike if the contract dispute with the supermarket chain continues. They complain that their costs are high, their labor costs. They're bringing in robots. They're talking about automation. They're getting rid of baggers. They're getting rid of meat cutters. The union says the fight centers around health insurance, pensions, and vacation time. Right now, the union is asking workers to remain on the job when the negotiations continue. The current three year contract expired last year. Stop and Shop released a statement saying a fair new agreement also must reflect the rapid changes and increasing competition that are reshaping our industry. We break our butts every day for this company. Yep. We do a good job. The customers love us. The customers are going to stand with us. And I understand, you know, health care is expensive, but they also want to raise the deductibles. Um, it's just, you know, they're after everything. Right? It's shocking. Shoppers in Brighton hope for the best. They work real hard, and they need to get pay, enough pay. Customers are working people. They understand the struggles that working people face today. Hopefully, they won't cross the picket line and shop. Both sides will meet next week to continue negotiations. In Brighton, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.